Hello, and welcome to another episode of Movie Spoiler Alerts. Today we're talking about the 1995 adventure film Jumanji, so let's get started. The film starts in 1869, with two brothers burying a chest hoping that no one will find it. In 1969, Alan Parrish visits his friend Carl at a shoe factory owned by his father. Carl reveals a new shoe prototype he made by himself. Alan misplaces the shoe and damages an important machine, but Carl takes responsibility and loses his job. Alan finds a chest containing a board game called Jumanji and brings it home. Sarah, his friend, arrives and they begin playing Jumanji. With each roll of the dice, the player pieces move by themselves, and a cryptic message describing the roll's outcome appears in the crystal ball at the center of the board. Sarah rolls the dice, but nothing happens. When Alan rolls the dice, a message tells him to wait in the jungle until someone rolls a 5 or 8, and he is sucked into the game. Afterwards, a swarm of bats appear and chase Sarah out of the mansion. 26 years later, Judy and Peter Shepard move into the vacant parish house with their Aunt Nora, their parents having died in an accident on a ski trip. Judy and Peter find Jumanji in the attic and begin playing it. Their rule summon giant mosquitoes and a group of monkeys. The game rules state that everything will be restored when the game ends, so they continue playing. Peter's next role is a five, which releases a lion and an adult Alan, who rushes to his father's factory. On the way, he meets Carl, who is now working as a police officer. In the now abandoned factory, a homeless man tells Alan that after his disappearance, his father abandoned the business and searched for his son, until his death four years earlier. The factory's closure has devastated the town's economy. Realizing that they need Sarah to finish the game, the three locate Sarah and persuade her to join them. They continue playing until Alan's role releases a hunter named Van Pelt. The next role summons a herd of various animals, causing a stampede, and a pelican steals the game. Peter retrieves it, but Alan is arrested by Carl, and Van Pelt steals the game. Peter, Sarah, and Judy track Van Pelt to a department store where they set traps to retrieve the game while Alan escapes from Carl's car. The four return to the mansion and release one disaster after another until Alan finally makes the winning roll, causing everything that happened to be reversed. Back in 1969, Alan and Sarah are children once again, but have full memories of the game's events. Alan reconciles with his father and admits that he damaged the factory's machine. Carl is rehired. Alan and Sarah throw Jumanji into a river, then share a kiss. In the present, both of Alan's parents are alive and well, and Alan has continued his father's business. Alan and Sarah are married and expecting their first child. They meet Judy, Peter, and their parents Jim and Martha for the first time at a Christmas party. Alan offers Jim a job and convinces them to cancel their upcoming ski trip, averting their deaths. On a beach in France, two young girls hear drum beats while walking, as Jumanji lies partially buried in the sand. So that was the spoilers for Jumanji. If you have a film you'd like to see me spoil, please let me know in the comments below. Check out movie spoiler alerts on the various forms of social media, and remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.